This is Hadia and Kofi. And welcome back to Talk 10 Talk, brought to you by GainOn.com. We're getting on. This week, we're dealing with week number 62 of Select the Charts Top 10 for June 18th to 24th. Let's just jump right into it. Coming in in the number 10 spot, we have Frey Ross featuring Ganguly with A1 Girl. Can me love your butt? Can get you off me mind? Me need your butt. One get between your thighs. Can you bump a big? I'm in love the way you want. This has lasted very long on the charts, to be honest. I have no problem with it being there. Um, it's a good bedroom track. Push through. Um, yeah, the, this has been number one too for like a good little while. Like for us, can go I don't, I don't talk to one else. It's been a minute. It's been on the charts. That is phenomenal, especially knowing crop over season and it's still on the charts. Big on itself. And nine web. <laughs> <laughs> In the number 9 spot, we have Ian Wester, aka iWeb, with Jut for that. Um, I really enjoyed this song, just know like, that it, it was a good little jam. I asked Danny Blue with the song because, as I just said, it was a good little jam. I really did enjoy it. I, this little cone was just like, uh. Uh, it was interesting. Uh, it was an interesting just, take. Yes. Yeah, it, it felt like a different vibe from one to one. I am accustomed to from Ian West as well. You get a don't vibe, but at the same time, it's still a sweet vibe. Exactly. And especially nowadays, he going like on a different level with his mm -hmm. music. So I enjoying it. I know Ian from when we were in Teen Talent together. Oh, wow, y'all be old though. So hush your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think he was in a group called Infinity. Mm -hmm. They were good. And at number eight, we have Just D, who just killing crap over the hole. I left home to party and find myself down in a hole, down in a hole, down in a hole. Down in the hole. Let me tell you something. This song, rocking it, rocking it, rocking it. I love it. He reminded me of what do you his name last year, Shaquille. Shaquille with Collateral. Something about his voice. Really. Yeah, it, it's just like I love when Bajans do the play on the words, and it's like we we we, we never. Yeah, when run they're not out. so vulgar with We're it. We're not running out of ways to say we horn the woman. But I don't understand. I, 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 do we have a terrible culture? Nobody are reinventing the wheel per se. Nobody's like bringing some new topic. It's just finding it's, new not ways to say it. the wheel, but it is using the wheel in different ways. The wheel mm -hmm. has evolved. Mm -hmm. The he part that's like, getting me is when he talk about he acts to break off down in the hole. Wait, that I never did. And then you, what, what, what made me laugh was like, no, we, we really do have potholes on the highway. And yeah. he just said like, he ain't taking the back roads. But I mean, that's a good pun in, in itself. You're right. The back roads. The back roads. <laughs> and at number seven, we got Stiffy with No Boring Girls Allowed. No Boring Girls Allowed. No Boring Girls Allowed. If you really play that, let me clear the talk. No Boring Girls Allowed. This man cannot not make a hard song. He can't not do it. I heard another song by him that I was saying, man, this nice. But it ain't, it ain't Stiffy nice. And Stiffy was like, oh, he, he was waiting? He, Stiffy said, right, Mia kind of took away a little spotlight <laughs> by, by the whole election of winning and becoming the first female prime minister thing, you know? So he was like, all right, Mia, I can let you have your time. But you come through. No boring girls allowed to do. Listen to me. DJ Kai as well, because itself, he's a good young so you're producing some real good tracks, man. Listen to me. I cannot wait for them finals to see hmm. what he can bring for this. I, I'm really interested. I cannot wait to get any fact and hear that song. Just saying. But he's a boring girl, Tanya. All right. And no boring girls at all, Tanya. All right. They're going to turn up. Coming in in number six spot, we got my boys, Lead Pipe and Saddis with Soka Love featuring Ayana. Pretty much. Pretty much. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Because of you, mommy, I love Soka. It's not one of their better songs for the season. It's a good song. For me, this is more for longevity. I could see this, you know, being played. Oh, okay. You understand what I mean? I, I like the song. I love the song. But this ain't one like how when you hear Jose and you hear them other songs that they had like in the first couple years, like when they went to Trinidad and stuff. This ain't one of them. Now, when you say longevity, I was lost at first, but I, I understand for sure now. This isn't a feeling. Mm -mm. But trust and believe in Crop Over 2020, this can play. Mm -hmm. it, it, it will last. It is, it's not a filler song by any means. It's not one of those songs that you just forget when yeah. you're done. And uh, similarly, it's not like 
a song that will get killed either. So that exactly. longevity thing That's was very, I mean. very fashionable. Starting off the top five, we have Rhea J. Williams with Rebels. <laughs> I've been seeing Rhea on my Instagram and I realized like she got a following and what's not but then I listened to her songs on selected charts because after hearing this one I went and listened to looking for others like this one like she got a whole album or something thing like this song this is really nice I understand why you're on the top charts you're going places. I actually am not familiar with Rhea, but like the stuff she came with this year was solid. My only gripe with this song, I don't know if it's something with the production. I just feel like this song could have been so much better. It could have. Like that block the road, block the road, block the road, right. block. I feel like that should have been the chorus more than what the chorus actually is. I would call that a bridge more than anything. And I just feel like the song has more potential. Like it could be revisited I at agree. some point because that agree. song just sounds. It sounds like two pieces of the puzzle ain't necessarily going together. At number four, we got Hit Rick, Mr. Cropova, Chihuahua, Businessman, Hyper Dog, Lil Rick, with Morning Vibes. I know where the man is bringing songs from is like I think I think it's seven songs he got this year. You could we could do we could almost do a top ten Lil Rick crop over 2018 list. Just, just Lil Rick. I heard this song last week at um, Scott and Mali Fresh Fest. I was there with my brother and thing, the bigger leader prank as well. And when the song play and the people in the crowd just like yeah, by spirit drink, it's time to party. And I mean it was like instant, instant forward, instant reaction. Like I've heard the song, I've never heard it in, a, in an old setting before in bed. Mm -hmm. And it was like, yeah, this song is vibes. I am with the crowd, everybody just enjoying it. This song is just vibes. Morning vibes, that was a play on it. Anyhow. No, it wasn't. So for me, I was just telling myself, all right, wait. No, Lyra is bringing his stories and bring all his hard songs and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to know what was the inspiration for this. You had a good time right before you write this song. <laughs> I was informed that this is a part two to your song last year, which was totally freaking awesome. By yes, the way, the man's story. That's so hard. The, the fact that this is a novel. continuation I can't thing. Say, story's not becoming short novels. Thing. And with the bronze medal, we got my girl Rhea Lane with best friends. When you see me, you see she shelling down every damn party. I deal with my right time. I deal with my bestie. When I on the road in the heat. This is her third release. Bika, Pafakala as well as her, but this is um quite honestly my least favorite of the trio. But it's still a nice little song. Is you know you want your best friend on your road, which is I'm sure a scenario most girls have been through, jumping down the road with a um, best friend next to them, walking up a man drinking drinks, whatever. It's a cool little song. Once again, not my favorite of the three, but it's decent. I have kind of a love hate relationship with this song. The small part of the hit is it yeah, brings memories. Hush. It brings memories for me with my best friend and how we used to party and stuff, but she's in a different place now. So all of that stuff. Yeah. But otherwise it's a great song in terms of the storyline. I found that the part there was a part that was out of place to me where she started telling people go down. I was like, where'd I come from? Go down, go down, go down, go down. No, I didn't like that part. That's just me. It could be debated though, cause like you know, like when you and the family best friend. I see, I see no, I understand, this, but, but it just didn't girl. seem right in the space where it was. And the number two spot, we got party and murder again. We come down. Hey, Max. Cause I miss being on them video. I love what y'all did with how y'all played with the beat and the way you're phrasing and what's not on that song a plus 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 from me yeah this is not the first time we've spoken about this song on the show but i got signed the ad and it kind of blew me away someone told me that they don't like this song 
and I ain't figuring out people that don't like they, it. They were saying that the red, the way the rhythm is, they only let like the bobo on the rhythm. They, they don't let how people play with the rhythm. I think that the way they incorporated it, it was just blended. Yeah, it was but, very artistic. And they look forward to playing this song a hundred thousand times on the road. Yeah, that's. You play Pony Rock? Obviously. Will? Uh, Capri Culture, Colors, and down with the third band name. So we're going to say Capri Culture and Colors. Three band? Oh, he big, yeah. And the number one position, we have Rhea J. Williams with Bones. Cheese on bread. <laughs> Cheese on bread. Like um, I even I wanted to say earlier, but this song is real superior song. This song is large, bigger to my friend Sharice. I've been telling me about it for a minute. I I, I really like this song. The chorus is nice. I I kind of got you as a contender to overthrow Stiffy. Like that is I, I like the song that much. I really do. You remind me of like a Keisha Christian, Donella. And somebody else that I real can't real. remember. You like a mix, like She's just the real future. Dog. Bashment soccer thing, the jiggy. Who are you Girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, like seriously, I, I was listening to that. I was like, wow. You do good. So I can't wait to see what you bring in the finals yeah. because I saw some of your IG stories and what's not. You just come dressed correct. It's just you got the show. The okay. finals was, is gonna be really interesting. I'm, I'm really, I really need to go. This is Kofi. And this is Hadia. Remember to go on selectacharts.com. Look for your favorite artists. Look for new artists. Look for your friends' music. Look for new music. I just push the music. Every listen goes toward a vote, and you can get your friends, your people, who you want to be in the top ten list, in the top ten list, just by listening. Also brought to you by Gainon.com. What's going on? on? They are relaunching on July 15th, so look out for new things. Listen, when you go on that website on the 15th, you are going to be amazed. Blown away. Real talk, and Brand new sweet things. things coming for you. Look out for us every Friday, Top 10 Talk. Right here on GainOn.com. Yeah, what's going on? We can see you in the later. We out.